another day, another what if Germany won World War 2 mod. And hello everyone, it is I, Comrade Ivan, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Thousand Week Reich mod. A mod which asks all too familiar question of what if Germany won World War 2. I seriously can't wait to see a mod which will ask the question what if Germany lost World War 2 even harder. But anyway, today we are revisiting a familiar country I have played before. That is of course SS Ordenstadt Gotenland or Crimea. So yeah, I no, don't feel like that video was all that good. And considering Russia got a new update in Thousand Week Reich, let's go and play once again as Heydrich and uh, make the Gross Gotisches Reich. And here we start as the Dark Pearl on the coast of the Black Sea. We own Crimea and a bit of Ukraine too, which is really nice. We have four divisions which probably aren't the best template, just as I thought. And uh, we also have Reinhard Heydrich in charge and uh, we have our own focus tree which sadly didn't change with this rush update, but oh well, military outrarku it is. And let us first focus on our Gotische Heer, or the army. Well, now we might be a country completely run by the SS, a German puppet and a genocidal regime, but at least we have Europe's best beach, which is really wunderbar. Why, thank you, Helmut, whoever you are. Also, yeah, I downloaded that Super Events uh, submod, because I really like Super Events, they're quite cool. Oh no, the Führer is dead. I sure do hope that people in Germania will be reasonable about succession and will all agree on who is going to be a capable new leader. It would appear that uh, all the other Reich's commissariats are falling apart, except for us. And this means we can finally do Gottische politics and then fall of the Reich. So let's go and see where this will get us. Well, god damn it! Now we won't have any tourists because of your shenanigans, you fucking Germans. No, Heydrich, you're not the bastion of national socialism, you're a fucking Discord LARPer. What am I gonna do, Hitler's... I'm Hitler's top guy! What am I gonna do? Adolf Hitler chose me to lead the revolution! And let us become a bit more independent, and also take in the German exiles, so then we can retake all of the Eastern Europe. And why not, let's expand our claims on other territories. And while the rest of the German sphere is going to the absolute shit, we will just sit here, relax, and perhaps welcome some loyalist exiles. Oh dear, I think Britain will be a bit agitated. Holy shit, dangest France. Eh. Sure, why not? Let's proclaim Greater Gottische Reich. Yeah, I think we have went completely insane. Oh boy, this is about to get fun. Ah, finally, here we are. We are Greater Gottische Reich, but uh, I still cannot justify war goals. Scratch what I said, I have decisions here. And I just so think we should go and attack the Dawn Free State. And here we go. Now, this is beautiful. 
but we can do better. However, I'll need to core all this land and um, yeah. Now, I have here a button that says integrate uh, the Caucasus, but that means I will need to go to war with the Mountain Republic and I don't know who else. But yeah, I cannot do that because uh, I don't know why I have no option to go to war with these guys. So I'm just gonna use Allow Diplo and help out my friends here in Astrakhan. So yeah, let's go. And now, my dear friends in Astrakhan, yes, you are German. Yes, uh, judging by the uniform, you are led by the SS. However, there can only be one Germany, in here at least, and that is me. Well, now we are lacking a ton of equipment, but that won't stop me from declaring war on Georgia. And finally, I can integrate all of the coxes. So dear ladies and gentlemen, tourists, if you look to your left, you will see glorious hotels of SS Ordenstadt Gotenland. And if you look to your right, you will see all the best beaches in Europe. Just please ignore the concentration camps. Ah, the tourism really is great. Well, Germany is dead. That's really nice or not, but that means I'm now the only re legitimate Germany there is. Also, France, uh, just puppeted France. What? We are still lacking a lot of stuff, but uh, Ukraine only has militia units, so I hope this is gonna go good, but I have a feeling it just so won't. To be honest, this is going quite good, maybe even too good. Well, after many trials and tribulations and defeating the Soviet volunteer force, I think this is going to go smoothly from now on. L plus scope plus ratio plus get encircled. And with 60 million dead Ukrainians, I can call this invasion a total success. And of course, Let's integrate Ukraine. And another thing I forgot to mention was... Uh, let's uh, get nuclear, shall we? Now, this too will probably be a very bad idea. But who gives a shit, so let's go in. Oh, thank god it's over. I don't need to chase enemy capital in middle of nowhere. And bye-bye, Belarus. I'm gonna install Alexander Lukashenko to lead you. Magnificent, isn't it? Well, for all the Slavic and non-German people that are living inside Greater Gottschereich, it probably isn't. But for me personally, I think this is good considering that I did all these, uh, let's just say, non-constitutional actions. Also, we are rank 5 in GDP, which uh, 
is uh, far beyond Italy and France and the Soviets, so... Really says a lot about slave-based economies. Never mind, scratch that last one, we're number two. Immediately behind USA. You know, maybe slave-based economies are good. And I think this is a very good note to end this video on. I mean, we have created a pretty strong fucking uh, tourist slave-based country out of just Crimea, led completely by the SS and Reinhard Heydrich. And we will also possess nuclear weaponry, which will make us basically burgundy of this universe. But yeah, I think it is a very good note to end it with, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye!